This is Doug Brunk with Global Medical News Network reporting from the annual meeting of the North American Menopause Society in San Diego. I'm speaking with Dr. Wolf Utian, who is the honorary founding president of the society and became its executive director 20 years ago. Dr. Utian, could you please share your thoughts on the future of menopause-related medicine? What do you envision this field to be like five or ten years from now? I think a big piece of it depends on what happens with the health plan, especially if there's more attention given to preventive health care and, uh, and the uh, education and uh, reimbursement issues relating to it. So um, the message, of course, about the menopause is that it's an incredible marker for women to get back into the health system. The question is, when they do get back in, will the, will the health system address their needs? Number one, in identifying any existing problems that they have, and number two, determining whether they have any uh, pre-existing risks or in fact early signs of disease they don't even know about. So this is going to require uh, reimbursement of uh, cost-effective screening tests, the ability to educate women about what those problems are, and the use of appropriate treatments to either treat the early existing disease or prevent disease from coming at all. So I think the future is great, provided that's, re that's all recognized and done. Do you envision a place for hormone replacement therapy in the future? Yeah, I think that, that uh, this is one of the most misunderstood areas, and yet I think there's now more evidence than anybody could possibly imagine. These hormones are the most investigated drugs in human history. And I think we now have a very balanced idea and anybody wanting to really get into the details should go to the, the NAMS website, www.menopause.org, and simply look at the position statement that summarizes very clearly the risks, the benefits, and the role. Will it have a place in the future? Undoubtedly. Will new drugs come into place? Undoubtedly. But I still see that hormones will be used appropriately in the right dose, in the right population, uh, for, for a number of years to come. This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network.